please stand. Nothing but the blood. Good morning, and God bless you in the precious name of Jesus. Yes, Lord. I want to read from a little bit from a book that I've been reading, and then I wanted to read uh, a part, uh, some of a song. The spiritual kingdom lies all about us, enclosing us, embracing us, all together within reach of our inner selves, waiting for us to recognize it. God himself is here waiting our response to his presence. This eternal world will come alive to us the moment we begin to reckon or believe upon its reality. That means its actual existence. But I added, not just bits and pieces, but the Lord says the entire kingdom is ours for the taking. This is about oceans, and it kind of I, I, it kind of coincides a little bit with when Jesus sent them off in the boat across the Sea of Galilee, and he, I'll paraphrase it, he says, I'll see you a little bit later. Okay. You call me out upon the waters, the great unknown where feet may fail, and there I find you in the mystery in oceans deep. My faith will stand, and I will call upon your name and keep my eyes above the waves. When oceans rise, my soul will rest in your embrace, for I am yours and you are mine. Your grace abounds in deepest waters. Your sovereign hand will be my guide. Where my feet may fail and fear surrounds me, You've never failed, and you won't start now. So I will call upon your name and keep my eyes above the waves. When oceans rise, my soul will rest in your embrace, for I am yours and you are mine. Spirit, lead me where my trust is without borders. Let me walk upon the waters wherever you, you would call me. The theme deeper than my feet could ever wander. Set me free, oh yes, I'm so glad 
that Jesus set me free. I'm so glad that my Jesus set me free. Whoa. I'm so glad that my Jesus set me free. Singing glory, hallelujah. Whoa. Jesus set me free. I'm on my way to heaven. Oh, yes, I am. Shouting victory. Yeah. I'm on my way to heaven. And oh. I'm shouting victory. Hallelujah. I'm on my way to heaven. And I'm shouting victory. Singing glory, hallelujah. Jesus set me free.
Would you be wider, much wider than snow? There's power in the blood, power in the blood. Sins change our lives in its life-giving flow. There's wonderful power in the blood. Oh, yes, there is. Oh, there is power, power, wonder-working power in the blood. In the blood of the Lamb. Of the Lamb. There is power, power, wonder-working power in the precious blood of the Lamb. Would you do service for Jesus, your King? There's power in the blood. Power in the blood, would you live daily as praises to sing? There's wonderful power in the blood. Oh, there is power, power, wonder-working power in the blood. In the blood of the Lamb. There is power, power, wonder-working power in the precious blood of the Lamb. Oh, there is power, power, wonder work yes, power in the blood, in the blood of the Lamb. Of the Lamb. There is power, power, wonder working power in the precious blood of the Lamb. In the precious blood of the Lamb. Lord, we give you oh, praise. We you. Oh, we give oh, you power in the blood of your Jesus. name, Lord. Oh, we magnify you, Lord. Worship you, Lord. Oh, we magnify you, Lord. Worship you, Lord. Worship you, Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank, Thank God you. I am free, free, free from this world of sin. Thank God. Amen. Been washed in the blood of my Jesus. Been born again. Hallelujah, I'm saved, saved, saved by His wonderful grace. I'm so glad that I found out that He would bring me out and show me the way. For a long time I've traveled down a long, lonely road. My heart was so heavy in sin I sank low. That's right, that's the way it was. Then I heard about Jesus. Then I heard about Jesus. What a wonderful hour. Yes, it was. Yes, it was. I'm so glad that I found out that he would bring me out to his saints of hours. Hallelujah. Thank God I am free, free, free from this world of sin. Amen. Hallelujah. Been washed the blood of my Jesus. Been born again. Hallelujah, I'm saved, saved, saved by His wonderful oh, grace. Oh, yes, I am. Hallelujah. I'm so glad that I found out that He would bring me out and show me the way. Like a bird out of prison. Yes, Lord. That's taken His flight. Yes. Like a blind man that God gave back his sight. Like a poor wretched beggar found fortune and fame. I'm so glad that I found out that he would bring me out through his holy name. Yes, yes, yes. Thank Let's God worship I am him free, because we're free, free. free. From this world of sin. Yes, I am. Hallelujah. Been washed in the blood of my Jesus. Been born again. Hallelujah. I'm saved, saved, saved by his wonderful oh, grace. Yes, I am. I'm so glad that I found out that he would bring me out and show me the way. Thank God I am free. Oh, I thank you, Lord. Free, free for from the this freedom world you've of given sin. me. Thank you, Jesus. Been washed in the blood of my Jesus. Been born again. Hallelujah. I'm saved, saved, saved by his wonderful oh, grace. By his wonderful grace. 
I'm so glad that I found out that he would bring me out and show me the way. Thank God I am free, free, free from this world of sin. Hallelujah. Been washed in the blood of my Jesus. Been born again. Hallelujah. I'm saved, saved, saved by his wonderful grace. Thank you, Lord. I'm so glad that I found out that he will bring me out and show me the way. Hallelujah, hallelujah. I'm so glad that I found out that he would bring me out and show me the way. Oh, thank God. Hallelujah. I'm so glad he set me free. Yes, Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Through the the blind will see, through you the mute will sing, through you the dead will rise, through you our hearts will pray, through you the darkness flee, through you my heart screams, I am free, I am free, I am free, I am free, I am free. I am free to run. 
Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Give the Lord a hand clap this morning. Glory. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I don't know about you, but I've been set free. Amen. Glory to God. Shake hands this morning and be friendly. Glory. I've been delivered. Oh, praise the Lord. I've been delivered by His Word. The chains of sin, well, they're broken. I've been delivered, oh praise the Lord. I've been delivered, oh praise the Lord. Oh, praise the Lord. I've been delivered by His word. The chains of sin, well, they're broken. Yep. I've been delivered, oh praise the Lord. Hallelujah. There's been a big change in me. Big change in me. I'm so happy and I'm so free. He brought me out of bondage, gave me liberty. Oh, oh, oh big change in me. I've yep. been delivered. Oh, praise the Lord. Yes. I've been delivered by His word. The chains of sin, well, they're broken. Yeah. I've been delivered. Oh, praise the Lord. There's been a big change in me, big change in me. I'm so happy and I'm so free. He brought me out of bondage, he gave me liberty. Whoa, yeah. big change in me. Whoa, big change in me. Hallelujah. Glory. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You can be seated. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory. Been a big change. Amen. I'm not the person I used to be. I'm not where I want to be yet, but I'm I'm getting there. Amen. Praise the Lord. Big change happened to me almost 40 years ago. I knelt at that altar and I accepted Christ in my life and the cross became my statue of liberty. Amen. I was set free by that cross. Uh, no, no, uh, nothing else set me free, but the blood that was shed upon that cross set me free. Amen. And so today we rejoice in this day because of what God has done for us. You know, the Bible countless times asks you to remember. 
Remember your salvation. Remember how many times God's blessed you, delivered you, and strengthened you and encouraged you. Remember how he loved you so much that he was willing to give his son for your life. Amen? Because Jesus loves us so much. Hallelujah. Amen. Yes. And, and you, know, you know, really, when you think about it, love is what set us free. Amen? Amen. Amen. Because he loved us so much, he was willing to die on that cross. That's and right. that love set us free from the power of sin and oppression in our lives. Amen. And so today we rejoice in him today. Yes. We give him yes. praise and glory. Amen. Hallelujah. 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 I, I, I don't know. I just feel like Thank there's something going to happen. Thank Amen. Uh, 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 I don't know oh, about you, but I feel oh, the presence you. of God all yeah. over Amen. And uh, when God comes in, takes over, we don't have to, we just got to get out of the way and let him have his way. Amen. Praise the Lord. And so uh, we're just going to just, just, uh, just, just give the Lord a little praise this morning. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise your Father. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory, glory. Hallelujah. 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 Glory, Hallelujah. We serve. Hallelujah. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Bless oh, man. Bless the Lord. Oh, man. Bless the Lord. God is so good. Amen. Oh, Praise God. the Lord. Joe, come on up and take up the offering. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I got to do something. Thank you, Jesus. Arlens, I want to thank you for being a man of God that you've always been. That's right. It was through you preaching the Word of God that I found my way to the Lord. That's right. That's right. Amen. And you deserve to be respected. Yes, he does. And I love you. Amen. We love you, Lord. We love you. Hallelujah. Thank you. Thank you, brother. It's a good thing to remember those that lead us to the Lord. Mighty man of God. That make their life an example for us. That's right. Sure did. Exactly. 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 It's a good thing to lift up our elders, those that set that prepared a path before us. Isn't it? Yeah. It is. Let's all stand today. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Remember, it's a, with a cheerful heart that we give, right? Mm -hmm. Because a God that loves us so much, he gives to us, provides for us. Let's all bring our offering forward this morning. I've been delivered, I've been delivered. I've been the whole the devil had on me. He ain't got no more. I've been delivered. I've been delivered. I've been delivered. I've been delivered. Oh, delivered by the hand of the Lord. I've been delivered. I've been delivered. I've been delivered. I've been delivered. The whole the devil had on me. He ain't got no more. I've been delivered. I've been delivered. I've been delivered. Delivered by the hand of the Lord. Oh, look what the Lord has oh, done. Oh, yes, Lord. Oh, look, look what the Lord has done. He healed my body. Yes. He touched my yes. mind. Just he saved me. Oh, just in time. I'm going to praise his Come name. Come on, let's praise him. He say he's just the same. Yes, he is. Come, Come on and praise him. him. Look what the Lord has done. Well, come on. Yes. Look, come on and praise him. Look what the Lord has done. Well, praise him. Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. 
Stretch your hands this way if you would. Father, we come before you this morning, Father, loving you. Father, we thank you, Lord, that we've gathered in your name, Father. Lord, we thank you for the blessings. We thank you simply that you love us, God. Above all else, that's what's important to us. Lord, bless those that are given, Lord. Take care of those that aren't here today, Father. In Jesus' name, the church said, amen. Amen, amen. Amen. You can be seated. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I tell you, uh, God's doing something in in my life, and I know he is doing something in some of your lives. Amen. Uh, I, 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 as a leader of the church, I think I said last Sunday, I don't know what God, where God's taken us, but he's taken us somewhere. Amen. And, uh, and, and last Sunday's service was so powerful. I haven't been in that kind of service for a long time. Amen. And uh, I just feel like God is getting ready to explode in the church. Amen. Uh, it, it's time we, uh, we begin to give God praise and glory before all that he does. Amen. You know, it's not about us. Yep. It's about him. That's yep. right. That's you know, right. I don't come to church to, to get something. I come to give him praise yes. and worship yes. and glory. Yes. Amen. Yes. And because when I give, God gives back. Yes. Amen. Yes. And so uh, we're, we're expecting great and mighty things. Uh, God is going to do some things in people's lives. I, I, I had uh, one of the sisters, they, she texted me this morning, very discouraged uh, about things that's going on in her life. And, uh, but you know what? I told her this, uh, that, you know, uh, uh, even though we look around at the situation, and sometimes when we begin to look at the situation, we become discouraged. But the Bible says to look up. Amen. You know, when Peter and John came to the gate beautiful and, and, and the beggar was there and he was begging for money, he said, give me alms for the poor. What did Peter tell him? Look upon us. That means he had to lift his head up and look up because, brother and sister, the Bible tells us when the end comes, he said, look up for your redemption draweth nigh. Glory to God. Brother and sister, we're in the last days of, the, of this world. We better, we better begin to look up. Amen. Because if we begin to look at the situation, we'll get discouraged every time. Amen. How many's ever done it? Been there, done that. Don't don't want to do it no more. <laughs> Amen. Yeah. Uh, sometimes the, the the devil can paint the worst of pictures, but God's a masterpiece. Yes, he is. Yes, he is. Yeah. You know, God can paint right over His picture. <laughs> glory he can paint something glorious and beautiful out of that i i preached at the beginning of the year out of isaiah uh, because i believe this god wants to turn our stumbling stones into stepping stones what we looked at as being a problem or a thing in our life god wants to turn that around in our life and draw us closer to him because you know what a stepping stone does it brings you up a little higher amen and every time you take a step you get a little higher and every time you take another step you're a little higher in god because after a while those situations don't seem to be so severe or or so terrible anymore like, because God is in it. Amen. Hallelujah. So I'm excited about God this morning and what he's going to do in this church. Amen. You better get ready. You better get ready. I'm telling you, you better get ready. Because uh, uh, something's ha- going to happen. I, I feel in my spirit this morning. Amen. And uh, hallelujah. <laughs> Man, I, I feel him. Amen. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Are you going to do the uh, announcements? Yes. Uh, okay. Praise the Lord. You have the announcements up there? Okay. There will be no uh, Wednesday night Bible study due to it being the 4th of July. Uh, Thursday night at 6 p.m. we will be having the praise and worship practice. Uh, today, following uh, the service, and you have time to go home and change your clothes and you know do whatever you need to do, uh, we will have a bouncy house set up upstairs, and we've already got the pool, g- pool going, and uh, we'll have a cookout for the church. Amen? Amen? We'll have food, fun, and fellowship. Praise Amen. the Lord. And then on the 19th of July, we will be leaving, going to uh, Branson, yes. Missouri, uh, the uh, 19th, 20th, and returning on the 21st. 
and also on the 27th 20 or 29th 30 and 31st of july we will be having uh brother charles womack from liberty missouri amen. to come up and hold a three-day meeting revival with us amen? amen so those are some of the things that are going on for the month of july uh, uh and we uh are looking forward to great and mighty things. Amen. Amen. All right. Uh, uh, we're going to do the Penny March this morning. Yeah. Uh, the Children's Fund is up almost $800. They will be having a special outing here before long. And so if I can get some help up here, uh, if you want to help me do the Penny March, come on up. Mm -hmm. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Just grab a bucket. If you got change, get it ready. Uh, they'll take dollar bills, five dollars, hundred dollar bills. Uh, they'll take whatever you throw in there. Amen. <laughs> Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Glory. Glory. so much for your giving and uh, <laughs> they're going to enjoy their outing amen and this morning we have a uh, little presentation for you honoring uh, the 4th of July and the freedom that we enjoy because somebody paid a price amen just like we enjoy the freedom the bonds the chains of sin because somebody paid a price Praise the Lord. Amen. So let's take some time this morning to focus on our freedom and our liberties that we have every day. The 4th of July is coming up, and we will be having family gatherings, picnics, shooting fireworks, having a great time. We are celebrating our freedom. A lot of people don't realize that, but that's what we're doing. We're celebrating our freedom in our nation and in our God. We thank our soldiers for protecting our nation and giving their lives for our freedom. Amen. We thank our God for giving his life for our salvation and freedom from sin and bondage. This morning we will be making our pledge to the American flag, to the Christian flag, and to the Bible. But first, let's talk about what it means to make a pledge. What is the meaning of the word pledge? Well, it's, so, it's a solemn or serious earnest promise or commitment. You know what a promise is. A promise is a vow or a covenant, a pledge, something you tell someone that you're going to do in their behalf. Something like uh, when we get married, we promise to love and cherish till death do us part in sickness and in health. Or I promise to do better. Or I'll be there for you no matter what. Or I promise to be on time. I promise to I'll keep that secret. I promise to pay you back that $10 you loaned me. Do we keep our promises? Well, we have all made them, and unfortunately, we have broke them sometime or another. Yeah. Remember that words are powerful. Yes, they are. Words are your integrity. We should not take a pledge, pledge lightly because God doesn't. In Ecclesiastes 5, 4 and 5, it says, When thou vowest a vow unto God, a pledge or a promise, defer not. In other words, don't back out. Keep your promise. Pay what you have vowed to God. For God hath no pleasure in fools or a wise, unwise person. Pay that which thou hast vowed. It is better that you should not vow than to make a vow and not keep it. If you promise a thing to God or to man, be a person of your word, show your integrity. 
Yes, amen. If you would stand this morning, we'd like to do the Pledge of Allegiance to the American flag. And uh, I know that they're not teaching this so much in schools. God help us. Mm -hmm. We need to pray. <laughs> okay. Just say along with me. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. We honor those who have died for our country, our freedom to live in peace. Psalms 33:12 says, Blessed is the nation whose God is the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. I'm sorry, you may be seated. If tomorrow all the things were gone, I work for all my life. And I had to start again with just my children and my wife. I thank my lucky stars thank you, Lord. to be living here today. Because yes. the flag still stands for freedom. Yes, it does. And they can't take that away. I'm proud to be an proud to be an American. Where at least I know I'm free And I won't forget the men who died Who gave that right to me I'll gladly stand up next to you And defend her still today Cause there ain't no doubt I love this land God bless the USA Some say it's just a piece of cloth. And to them, I guess it's true. The colors are just fabric dye, red, white, and blue. But let's talk another thing about the flag. The bears with me just for now. Because a few of us see more than that. Mm -hmm. And I'd like to tell you how. See the set of crimson stripes which flow from left to right? I see in them the blood that's spilt in freedom's awful fight. And what about the field of blue? Is there something there to see? T 
Tis the ocean touching distant shores where they fought to keep us free. But what about those stripes of brilliant milk-white hue? I see in them the spirit glow of those who died yeah. for me and you. Yeah. And what about those 50 stars? Can I give you just a clue? I see in them the peace of heaven as the servicemen's eternal due. Now you may not agree with me, and that's okay. That's the freedom and the right that I wouldn't take away. Amen. But give me just a moment, if you please, on this 4th of July, July Memorial Day to thank our nation's servicemen for your freedom here to stay. Amen. For without their matchless sacrifice, would none of us be free to talk of God and flags and truth and what they are to you and me? That is all. It's just a piece of cloth. But when a little breeze comes along, it stirs and comes to life and flutters and snaps in the wind, all red, white, and blue. And then you realize that no other piece of cloth could be like it. It has your whole life wrapped up in it, in the meals you eat, in the time you spend with your family, the kind of things your boy and girl learn at school, the strange and wonderful thoughts you get in church on Sunday. Mm -hmm. Those stars in it, they likely make you feel just as free as the stars in the wide, deep night. And those stripes, they are bar of blood to any dictator who tried to change this way of life. Hallelujah. Just a piece of cloth, that is all, until you put it in your soul and give it a meaning. Then it becomes a symbol of liberty, decency, fair dealing for everyone. It's just a piece of cloth until we breathe life into it, until we make it stand for everything we believe in and refuse to live without. Let's take another look at the flag. The red speaks of sacrifice, death, liberty, and freedom. Our soldiers sacrificed their lives for our freedom. Yeah. Our Lord sacrificed his life, his red blood, for our freedom from sin and bondage, and to give us eternal life forever and ever. Amen. Hebrews 9.22 says, And almost all things are by the law purged with blood. And without the shedding of blood, there's no remission of sin. Amen. Hebrews 12, 14 says, Follow peace with all men and holiness without no man shall see the Lord. Paul gives a command in Timothy 4, 12. He says, To be an example of the believers. Blue speaks of the heavenliness, royalty, and peace. Acts 7, 49 says, Heaven is my throne and the earth is my footstool. What house will you build me, saith the Lord? Amen. The 50 stars speak of jubilee, freedom, and liberty. It reminds me of the 50 days after Jesus ascended into heaven and told his disciples. He said to tarry in the upper room till you receive the Holy Ghost and the fullness of the Spirit and the power to overcome. So now, let us make a pledge to the Christian flag and God's holy Bible. Amen. If you would stand again, please. I pledge allegiance to the Christian flag and to the Savior for whose kingdom it stands, Jesus Christ crucified, risen, and coming again, with abundant, abundant life for all who believe. Galatians 5.1 declares, Stand fast, therefore, in the liberty wherein Christ has made us free. We honor our God, our Lord Jesus Christ, who died for our sins and freedom in the spirits. And now let's pledge to the Bible. I pledge, pledge allegiance, allegiance to the Bible, God's holy word, I will make it a lamp unto my feet and a light unto my path, and I will hide its word in my heart 
that, that I, I might, might not sin, sin against God. God. That's Psalms 119.11. We honor God's word yes. and we strive to obey its every command, yes. knowing that it brings freedom to our spirit. Yes. So let us make our pledge to God, our Savior, to live for him all the days of our life. Let me tell you that it's more important than a piece of cloth. And that it's the precious Son of God, the one that gave his life for you and me, who by death broke all the chains of death and bondage so that we will have liberty and freedom in this world and the world to come. There is power in the name of Jesus. There is power in the name of Jesus. There is power in the name of Jesus. To break every chain, break every chain, break every chain break every chain break every chain break every chain there is power in the name of jesus there is power in the name of jesus there is power in the name of Jesus to break every chain, break every chain, break every chain. Oh, to break every chain, break every chain, break every chain. Break every chain. There's an army yes, there right. There's an army rising up. There's an army rising up. To break every chain, break every chain, break every chain. To break every chain, break every chain. Break every chain. There's an army rising up. Oh, yes, we are that army rising up. There's an army rising up. To break every chain, break every chain, break every chain. Thank God he does. Oh, to break every chain, break every chain, break every chain. There is power in the name of Jesus. Yes, there is. There is power the name of Jesus. Oh, there is power in the name of Jesus. Oh, to break every chain, break every chain, break every chain. Oh, to break every chain, break every chain, break every chain. Oh, there is power in the name of Jesus. Oh, there is power in the name of Jesus. There is power in the name of Jesus. Oh, to break every chain, break every chain. 
break every chain. Oh, yes, to break every chain. Yes, amen. Isaiah 53, 4 says, Surely he has bore our griefs and he carried our sorrows. He was wounded for our transgressions. He was bruised for our iniquity. For the chastisement or the punishment of our sin was upon him. And with his stripes we are healed. And that breaks every chain. Yes, it does. Let us not forget the many souls that we want to remember this morning who gave their lives yes, for us. Yes. Amen. For the gospel of Jesus Christ. From the Bible account we have read for years, even till this day, that many have pledged to God that they would die if need be, but they would never deny the Lord. Matthew 10, 33 says, Jesus said, For whosoever shall deny me before men, him will I also deny before my Father which is in heaven. Yes, yes. We are to love the Lord with all of our hearts, our minds, our bodies, our soul, and all of our strength. Yes, Matthew 22, 37. I duly do solemnly pledge to live for God all Amen. the days of my life. Yes, Hallelujah. How about you? Yes. I pledge allegiance to the Lamb with all my strength, with all I am, I will seek to honor His command. I pledge allegiance to I have heard, I have heard how Christians long ago were brought before a tyrant strong. They were told that he would spare their lives if they would renounce the name of Christ. But why? Like a great angelic choir sings, I can almost hear their voices ring. I pledge allegiance to the Lamb with all my strength, with all I am, I will seek to honor command. I pledge allegiance to the land. Now the years have come and the years have gone, but the cause of Jesus still goes on. Now our time has come to count the cost, to reject this world, to embrace the cross. And one by one, let us live our lives for the one who died to give us life till the trumpet sounds. On that final day, let us proudly stand and boldly say, I pledge allegiance to the Lamb with all my strength, with all I am. I will seek to honor His command. I pledge. I will seek 
to honor his commands. I pledge allegiance to the some of the words from the Declaration of Independence. It's the birthday of the United States, yes. which we celebrate every 4th of July, and it represents our freedom. This is part of the words. We hold those truth to be self-evident that all men are created equal, yes, that they are endowed by their creator with a certain unalienable rights, yes. that among these are life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. Yes. John Adams said, I am apt to believe that it will be celebrated by succeeding generations as a great anniversary festival. Hallelujah. It ought to be commemorated as the day of deliverance by solemn acts of devotion to oh, Almighty God. Hallelujah. And we thank God for what freedom that yes, we have God. today. Thank no matter what struggles or hardships that may arise, I do pledge never to turn back, but to always go forward with the Lord, yes. knowing that I have freedom and liberty in this life and in the life to come. It's a struggle for survival We daily meet the foe Out there on that old battlefield Sometimes we stand alone That's when I reach for my holy armor and I pick up my sword of faith And I march on to that battlefield Take out my sword and say Mountains too high, but I'm not too steep The battle is rough, but I'm not too weak I won't turn back, no I won't turn back Oh, the road is hard, but it's not too long The enemy is near, but he's not too strong I won't turn back, no, I won't turn back. And though the enemy brings war against my soul, and though a host of evil battles for control, I will not fear, for the Lord, He is near, and His angels are camped. Is high, but it's not too steep. Battle is rough, but I'm not too weak. Won't turn back, no, I won't turn back. The road is hard, but it's not too long. The enemy is near, but he's not too strong. Won't turn back, no, I won't turn back. It's a struggle for survival. 
survival The daily meet the foe Out there on that old battlefield Times we stand alone That's when I reach for my holy armor Pick up my shoulder of faith March on to that battlefield Take out my sword and say Mountain is high, but it's not too steep Battle is rough, but I'm not too weak Won't turn back, no I won't turn back Oh, the road is hard, but it's not too long The enemy is near, but he's not too strong Won't turn back, no I won't turn back I won't turn back, no I won't turn back, no, I won't turn back. I won't turn back, I won't turn back, I won't turn back now. I won't turn back, I won't turn back, I won't turn back. Now you gotta look at the devil straight in the face and say, I won't turn back. I won't turn back. I won't turn back now. I won't turn back. I won't turn back. I won't. But it's not too steep. Battle is rough, but I'm not too weak. No. Won't turn back. No, I won't turn back. Oh, the road is hard, but it's not too long. The enemy is near, but he's not too strong. Won't turn back. No, I won't turn back. I won't turn back. No, I won't turn back. I won't turn back, no, I won't turn back. I won't turn back, no, I won't turn back. Amen, amen. Woo, never, 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 never. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Praise I close with this prayer. It's a Patriot's prayer yes, by the, one of our presidents of the United States. He said, Almighty God, and this you probably won't hear today, no. Almighty God, who has given us this good heritage, we humbly beseech thee that we may always prove ourselves people mindful of thy favor and glad to do thy will. Amen. Bless our land with honorable industry, sound learning, and pure manners. Yes. Save us from violence, discord, confusion, from pride, arrogancy, and from every evil way. Defend our liberties and fashions into one united people, yes. the multitude brought out of many kindred and tongue. Endowed with the spirit of wisdom, those who in thy name we entrust the authority of government, that there may be peace and justice at home, and that though obedience through obedience to thy law, we may show forth thy praise among the nations of the earth. In the time of prosperity, fill our hearts with thanksgiving. Yes. And in the day of trouble, suffer not our trust in thee to fail. Amen. Huh. And that was from George Washington, Thank one you. of our presidents. Yes, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Just enjoy the heavenly. Okay. Glory, glory, hallelujah. Glory, glory, hallelujah. Glory, glory, hallelujah. His truth is marching on. Glory, glory, hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah. Glory, glory, hallelujah. Glory, glory, hallelujah. His truth is marching 
Come on. But I came to praise the Lord. I did. Lord. That's what I'm here for. I don't know what you came to do, but I come to praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I don't know what you came to do, but I come to praise the Lord. Hallelujah. 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 Oh, I come to Hallelujah. praise Him. Yes. Hallelujah. 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 Yes. Praise. Magnify the Lord. Yeah. Well, glorify the Lord. What a mighty God we serve. Yes. Oh, we thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. We praise your Hallelujah. name. Hallelujah. Praise God. Praise God. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. What a mighty God we serve. Amen. Oh, mighty God Hallelujah. We serve. You can be seated. I, I just want to share a few things this morning before we dismiss. Uh, brother brought this up, and uh, I remember reading this before. The Battle Hymn of the Republic was written by a woman. Her name was Julia W. Howe. Yes. And she wrote this. Uh, she says, I awoke in the gray of the morning, and as I lay waiting for dawn, the long lines of the desired palm began to entwine themselves in my mind. And I said to myself, I must get up and write these verses, lest I fall asleep and forget them. Yeah. So I sprang out of bed in the dimness, found an old stump of a pen, which I remembered using the day before. I scrawled the verses almost without looking at the paper. The hymn appeared in the Atlantic Monthly in 1862. It was sung at the funerals of British statements, Winston Churchill, American Senator Robert Kennedy, and American President Ronald Reagan and Richard Nixon. Music by John Brown, body possible by John William Stebb. A woman wrote that great song. Amen. God, is, God can use anybody. Thank you, brother, for giving that to me to share this morning. I appreciate it. The Battle Hymn of the Republic. You know what? We are free this morning because of the price that was paid by our, our fellow countrymen. Our country is not free because, but it's by the blood that was shed by those that set our freedom. Amen? We're free because of the blood was shed on that cross. Amen? Because of that blood, we have liberty to worship God. See, brother and sister, we, we have, we've talked in Bible study. There are certain factions in this nation that is trying to rob us of our religious freedom. But God is in control. Amen? No, no man is in control, but God is in control of this nation. And brother and sister, the Bible, they quoted this verse. It says, stand fast. You know what the word stand fast? It's a military term. And it means to take a stand no matter how great the enemy is. Amen. And the, and the Roman soldiers had cleats in their, like, you know, like football guys have cleats. They dig in. And they dug in. And it didn't matter if the force was bigger than them, they would not yield. Brother and sister, we don't need to yield to the enemy. Amen. Wow, we need right. to begin to learn to stand yeah. fast against the enemy's yeah. onslaught in our life. The blood was shed yeah. so that we would have the victory, Hallelujah. Brother Danny. That blood was shed for each and every one of us. And so when he says, stand fast, you got to make a decision this morning. Am I going to stand fast? Yes, that's right. We sing an old song, uh, I'm in the battle for the Lord and right. In, the battlefield in a service, a coward I will not be. That's right. I, I ain't getting the words right. But it's an old song we used to sing all the time. Uh, believe it or not, I sing in the yeah. choir at Victor Tabernacle one time. One time only. <laughs> one time only. After that, they never <laughs> asked him to do it again. Yeah. <laughs> uh, but in the battlefield, yeah. brother and sister, it's a battle, but the victory's already been won. Amen. The cross was the That's victory. That's right. Amen. When he Thank shed his Jesus. blood on that cross, we won the victory. He says, stand fast, what? In, in the, the liberty, liberty wherewith where Christ. Christ says, what? Made, made you free. free. You know what made is? Created. It means created. God has created us to be free. 
Amen. He didn't create us to be tangled up and in bondage with sin and, and all the devices of this world, but he created us to be free from those things. Amen. So what I used to be is not what I am anymore. I'm not that person anymore. I'm a new creature in Christ. I stand in liberty this morning because of the price he paid on that cross, the blood he shed. Amen. Praise the Lord. I'm glad this morning for Jesus. I'm glad for Jesus this morning. Are you glad for Jesus this morning? Amen. Give him a hand clap. Amen. Glory. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let's everybody stand. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Well, I shall not be, I shall not be moved. I shall not be, I shall not be moved just like a tree that's planted by the waters. I shall not be moved. Well, glory, hallelujah. I shall not be moved. Anchored in Jehovah, I shall not be moved. Just like a tree that's planted by the water, I shall not be moved. In his love abiding, I shall not be moved. In his confiding, I shall not be moved. Just like a tree that's planted by the water, I shall not be moved. Though all hell is silent, I shall not be moved. Jesus will not fail me. I shall not be moved. Just like a tree that's planted by the water, I shall not be moved. Though the tempest rages, I shall not be moved. Yes. On the rock of ages, I shall not be moved. Just like a tree that's planted by the water. I shall not be moved. I shall not be. I shall not be moved. Yes. I shall not be. I shall not be moved. Just like a tree that's planted by the water. I shall not be moved. Whoa. I shall not be moved. Praise the Lord. And I pray Thank for you, you Sister Jesus. Patty. <laughs> Father, right yes, now, Lord. touch this wrist, Father. Yes. Thank you, Jesus. You're the healer, God. You're Jehovah Rapha. Yes. They're the one that can mend. God, every bone, every yes, muscle, God. every part of it, God, let it be made whole. And God, let it be better than it was, Father God. God, let her be restored to complete health in this wrist, Father. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Thank you, Amen. Jesus. I didn't mean to shake it. <laughs> Glory to God. All right. Shake hands and be friendly this morning. I shall not be, I shall not be moved. I shall 